Hi, welcome. My name is Kim Skerka and I am the Director of Employee Relations. I'm going to give you a brief primer on what the Employee Relations Department does to help you in your role as a management representative. Some of the areas where you will work with the Employee Relations team involve investigations and fact-finding. We investigate potential policy violations and will also work with you on performance-related issues. Should there be a finding on either, the team will work with you to draft the disciplinary and or corrective action. Additionally, the university has a whistleblower and ethics hotline. We receive cases from the hotline, investigate, and report back on our findings. One of the areas we are most excited to offer is a mediated service that offers mediated discussions, facilitated discussions, and this really comes into effect when you have two employees that are just not getting along with each other and it's impacting the work environment, but there's not necessarily a policy violation. We will come in and try to mediate a truce, if you will, and or a path forward. We will also do this if you find yourself stuck with an employee and need a little help from an outside perspective. Another area you may work with us is on layoffs, reorganizations, and reductions in time. We will do that entire process with you to make sure we follow our policy and our collective bargaining agreement language and to make sure that our employees get the benefits that are due to them. Additionally, we will work with you on interpreting the policies that govern our workforce. We have three main areas of those. The first is our umbrella policies, which are system-wide and come from Office of the President. Other policies we work with are UC San Diego policies that apply to both campus and the health system. And then thirdly, there are UC San Diego health-specific policies. We will help you navigate and interpret all of those different policies. We would like you to be mindful of three critical periods that you may be dealing with. The first is the probationary period. Please make sure that you track this time accurately and that you are monitoring to make sure the employee is the best fit for the role and for the department. The second is the performance evaluation time. Many times we will see that the evaluations do not accurately reflect the true performance or behavior of the employee. This may cause a downstream impact when we are looking at potential performance and or disciplinary issues. The third area is to be aware of behaviors when they start. One of our mottos is to contact employee relations often and early. When we can get involved in the beginning of an issue, we find that we are much more successful in solving it early to a successful conclusion. The best way to reach the employee relations team is to use the HHR website. We have our own category titled employee relations and there are multiple offerings within that category. In addition to the work that I've already mentioned, I'd also like to highlight some of the specialty training that our team does. We are focusing on more preventative and proactive solutions for you, our management team, and for our workforce. We offer a number of specialty classes, including work time attendance, conflict resolution, critical conversations, disciplinary and corrective action writing, and disciplinary and corrective action enforcement. We know that the relationship between our management staff and our employees is the most critical relationship that exists here, and we appreciate the work you do every day. We look forward to working with you.